Hello everyone, welcome to my show Future Friday where we're going to take a look into the topics that will be impacting our future, what we're going to expect in the future. So today we are at episode number one and we're going to discuss why we will not have flying cars. So let's begin. So it might sound odd that why I'm saying that in future we will not have flying cars. No. I want to make sure that you guys understand. I want to see a few flying cars, but they are simply way too impractical. So we're gonna dive into the reasons why why it is so. So first things you have to understand, there are four steps of making a car fly. First you take fuel or electricity in stored in battery, then you make them into power either by jet engine, turbines or you know propeller like electric drones and then the faster you run the fuel or discharge your batteries the more power you're gonna get so you have fuel you have power and then you apply action you have the power you push them down reaction to that you go up so everything simple so far now here's the deal that what every science fiction you know sort of forgets now except the universe of star wars because in star wars they show that they have anti-gravity assuming that we don't have anti-gravity technology let's say a car a very basic car that is very lightweight has the fuel has the power has engines everything is one ton now here's the deal it has to push one ton down just to cancel it weight just to make itself weight zero and then on top of that you have to add thrust more power basically to make sure it goes up now here's the deal the reason planes fly so efficiently is a they're big b they use wing rather than thrust now rockets use thrust to go up directly they don't care about atmosphere but you can see it's like 90% fuel, 95% fuel, 98% fuel just to send a small payload to orbit. So suffice to say it will be like a tanker trailer where the tanker would be the fuel tank and the small fuel tank would be your payload. So suffice to say physics simply will not allow us to make a flying car. Now you might say we have flying cars or however I can find and uh, here's the deal. Many things you, you have to consider. First, flying cars can be basically called a helicopter. We have helicopters. They don't give us very long range. They don't give us very high speed. They don't even have very high payload capacity. But we use them because of their vertical capability. Now, in a flying car, the problem is it has to be able to drive on the road and it also needs to ability to you know fly. That's two in one. That's the definition of inefficiency. You always make one specific product, one specific target. If you try to target both, you're screwed. Now, let's look into basic aspects of that. Fuel. Here's the deal. Battery will simply not allow you to do that. But you might say, oh, there is a drone. See the range of it. See the range of it. Like it's in minutes. Helicopters can at least do two hours. Heck, some can do even more and at very high speeds. So please, before you all jump into the, you know, like, oh, electric uh, drones are happening, first see the range and then see the payload. So fuel and versus battery, we have to understand this very simply. Battery simply does not have enough energy and it does not get lighter as you use them. That is the sole reason rocket can even get off the ground is that once it's uh, used up all the fuel, it becomes lighter. Battery, it won't work like that. So all things considered. You have to understand this even if you have some magical fuel that gives you a lot of joule per kilogram you know like a lot of joule in one liter here's the deal even if you can convert that amount of magical fuel into magical amount of energy the energy is still so huge like i have seen this uh, tv show many of you have heard of altered carbon where there is this car and it just turns it wheel into thrusters and Here's the deal, the people around them, they're not there anymore. They're done. They did. It's like, you can't stand next to a, a helicopter when it's flying. You can't stand behind a jet engine when it's being fired. Imagine somehow like all the cars have that much power and pfft. Now, you can have a flying man like this guy. The reason? Because he's weight very less. It's like barely 300 kilo everything combined. 
So 300 kgs, it has and it has barely flight time of five minutes. Five minutes. That's not enough for anything actually. So suffice to say, even if you find magical fuel, even if you find a way to convert that magical fuel into magical thrust, just the amount of it, just the raw physics, action equals reaction, is the biggest problem of it. That's why we will never, most likely we will have a flying car. We could have flying ambulance where people might actually tolerate the noise and all that uh, that will be generated by that. So I could see in future that there will be flying ambulances, but I, it's unlikely to be that we're gonna see you know flying cars. It's not that we can't build it, we have been building that shit for uh, freaking 50 years. So we got the technology, it's just that so inefficient, so impractical, it's pointless. So that was uh, it for today. I hope you like this short episode of Future Friday. I hope to see you next Friday and uh, I see you all. Hope you like this presentation and if you liked it, please subscribe and like, comment. Even if you disliked it, please dislike it and uh, thank you for watching.